boy everyone, March is here and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be giving you the full performance review of the bead ones. Let's go! Before we start with the full performance review of the bead ones, I would just like to let you know that we have some current raffles ongoing right now so better check out the other videos and be sure to join them and good luck now first let's talk about the upper of the Embiid ones this is from Under Armour so this is Joel Embiid's first signature sneaker he just recently signed with Under Armour and this is the first colorway of his sneaker and if you haven't watched the unboxing video of this this is a tribute to his hometown or where he is from where his parents are and it is seen in the traction down below i think one of his parents are from Uwande. the other one is from johannesburg and they went to monteverde then of course he studied in kansas university he's playing right now for the philadelphia 76ers which can be seen in the forefoot area of the traction of the sneaker. And as for the upper of the Embiid ones, this is a mesh upper with a honeycomb net style. And it is soft, but it's kind of thick. And there's a lot of fusing around the forefoot area. If you can see that, it is fused from that area to the sides. And of course, there's more fusing at the heel part of the sneaker where the high wire areas are on so the middle part of the heel and there's more fusing around the lacing system so when you lace it up you wouldn't tear the upper of the Embiid ones so for my opinion for the mesh upper of the Embiid ones right off the box it is very comfortable it is soft but it's not too flimsy it's just the right amount and I like it although the look is okay maybe it's just the colorway but for the look uh, I'm not too sold on the look of the Embiid's I think they could have done it better, but as for performance wise, they're good. They're very comfortable, especially around the toe area. No need for a break in around that area. And even on the tongue part of the sneaker, it is really soft. It is very well padded and it's very easy to wear. It has a tongue lacing system, but a stitch on the footbed, but it's very easy to put your foot in. You can really open this up. It has a pull tab around the tongue and on the heel. So for easy wear and around the heel part of the sneaker, it is also very well padded. It is very comfortable around the heel. And there is an internal heel plate inside the sneaker. So the cushion goes up and cradles your foot really nicely to prevent from any foot slipping. And even on the forefoot and midfoot part of the sneaker, you are sitting just below the cushion, which is nice. And of course, around the midfoot, you can see this fire-like a uh, strap in my opinion it looks like a fire but these are the colors from africa and on the middle part it is black and it is a wing and it's very similar to the pg3s it really reminds me of the pg3s so when you really tighten around the wings you can really feel the wings working and it's really pulling you down to the footbed to avoid any slipping and the fit is really really nice once you really tighten up that area so that really works and if you want more ankle protection because this area is really soft you just need to really tighten up the laces then you're good to go and for me the ankle protection is just enough it can wear an ankle brace or support because it really can open up nicely for an ankle support or any ankle brace Moving on to the cushion of the Embiid ones, it features a full length micro G in the, from the forefoot to the heel. And the cushion around the heel is a combination of micro G with hover. And the hover on this one is really, really nice. It's nothing like the Curry's. I was really expecting something really great or really good on the Curry's cushion since hover is one of the most premium cushion from Under Armour but the cushion on the Curry's is rather stiff. I think it was really made for Steph because he really likes stiff cushion for maximum responsiveness and he likes that maximum cord feel and he doesn't want any delays on the cushion. And since Joel Embiid is rather a big dude, I think he likes more cushion in his sneaker and I thank him for that because I like cushion too. And the micro G in the forefoot area really reminded me of the first micro G that I felt from the clutch fit drive. 
which was the first sneaker of Steph Curry from Under Armour before he had the Curry 1s, the Curry 2s, so on and so forth. And this Micro G is really nice. It has a bounce to it. It has a nice impact protection in the forefoot too. And around the heel, when you mix it up with hover, this kind of hover, I really think this is how you should implement hover in a basketball sneaker. It is plush, but it is not too soft. It's just the right amount of plushness for impact protection with the hover and Micro G on the heel. Very, very nice cushion setup for the Embiid's. I would take the Embiid's one anytime from the Curry 1s to the Curry 7s. Really, guys. Yeah, that's how much I like the cushion on the Embiid's compared to the Curry's. Now, moving on to the traction of the Embiid 1s. It's made out of very thick rubber material. At first, I don't know if I mentioned it in my unboxing video that I said you can use this outdoors but right now there's a little bit of tear on my traction so i was really disappointed with that i just saw it right now before i did this video and it has a tear there near the forefoot area maybe when i was striking around my toe and that sucks so i wouldn't recommend it to be used outdoors because i just been using it here on the vinyl court behind me and it already tore and I can see some fraying around the medial part of the forefoot area around this area you can see more fraying there so with the Embiid ones unfortunately I wouldn't recommend it to be used outdoors just for indoor use and for the first time that I wear the Embiid ones the traction was not too good but as I played with them more it became a lot better after several days of testing the Embiid ones um, like I said you really need to break in the traction for these ones because after several days of wearing it look what happened to the traction it became a lot better if you can hear that the floor is a little bit moist but if you can hear that it improved a lot and I was gripping really nicely on this vinyl floor. Um, it improves a lot and of course the cushion too. The cushion improved over time. It became a lot more plush, especially on the forefoot area, especially on the heel part, the impact protection better. The hover here is better compared to the ones in the curries because the curry ones, I can't even feel the cover on those but with this one it's a whole lot better 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 I really love what Under Armour did with this sneaker and they really uh, maximized their cushion the micro G and the hover I think they made it in the perfect combination perfect blend of the two cushions and not caging them is another factor it's unlocked especially on the middle part and on the heel which really matters if, if you cage the heel part of the cushion it wouldn't compress so with this one it's uncaged and it's really really nice you're still stable and you don't feel any flimsiness and on the lateral part it goes up around the wing part so it cages in the areas that you don't need it that much where you need it more on the middle side of the forefoot area or the midfoot so that's a little update on the Embiid ones Okay, catch you, catch my breath. So you have to break in the traction, and once you have broken it in, it's really nice, it's really sticking hard to the floor. I was playing on a clean court today, and the other day I was kind of playing on a semi-dusty floor, and was still gripping, although there was no squeak that time, but now it was squeaking really hard. I think there's just a film on the outsole, on the bead ones and ones. You have removed that film. The traction is really, really nice. I'm quite disappointed that the traction is not too durable. Maybe just around the edges where it will tear up, but around the middle part or the center part of the traction, I think it will be okay. And this traction pattern is very well spaced, so dust pickup is not much of a problem. It's the, just the durability of the rubber on some parts of the traction, especially when you're really striking hard on those areas for the sizing of the Embiid ones if you're a regular footer go half a size down and if you're a wide footer go true to size 
and there's enough toe space around the forefoot area of the Embiid ones. So no problems for wide footers. And currently in my knowledge, the Embiid ones are still just available online under armor.com.ph if you are from the Philippines. And I think in some part of the world, they're already available in stores, but here in the Philippines, it's just available online, still not yet out in the retail stores because of the pandemic that's happening right now a lot of shipments are delayed so that's kind of hard and of course we still cannot play 515 and that's really sad i am really been itching to play 515 ball and especially on a tournament where the competitive level is really high so i'm really looking forward for everything to get back but right now just giving you what the Embiid ones are and overall the sneaker in my opinion is a very nice performing basketball sneaker from Other Armor. The cushion is my favorite from the Embiid ones and next of course is the traction except for the durability on the forefoot area and as for the upper the materials are good for performance but in terms of design it really looks like an athleisure sneaker and it's just made for sports if you look at it in that perspective, it looks good and clean, but for me, I think Under Armour can do more in the design part of their sneakers. So that's it for my full performance review of the Embiid ones. Let me know what you think of the Embiid ones. Will you cop them? This is priced at 8,000 pesos. So like I said in my unboxing video for an 8,000 peso sneaker, I wish that they could give us some touches of premium materials. I'm not asking for the whole sneaker to have the most premium materials, but some touches will be appreciated. And around the top part of the sneaker, I forgot to mention, this is his current logo of Joel Embiid. And I think Under Armour, you can do better with that. And there's a star here. I don't know what the star means. Let me know in the comment down below what the star means. And the Under Armour logo, I think is nicely placed around the heel part of the sneaker. It's not shouting Under Armour. And also in the middle part of the heel, there's also a small Under Armour logo. So design-wise, like I said, they could do better. And let me know in the comments down below if you are copying the Embiid ones and if you're interested with this, if you're curious with the Embiid ones. And I like the cushion on the Embiid ones. I am a fan of Micro G from day one. So that's it on my full performance review. Thank you again for watching this video. This has been Marches once again. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.